the military spokesperson representing the army in the fake judicial panel that the Lagos state government instituted came up with to probe the atrocities of NSAS, brutality, human rights abuses, and many other issues, underlining issues. The spokesperson to the military is called Taiwo, Ibrahim Taiwo, and when people dug into the past of this man, this military representative is in charge of intelligence Lagos division. They realized that his father, a, a military man, was also brutal and he did a lot of very nasty, terrible things. Now, DJ Switch, she has kind of been put in the center of all of this with her popularity and having recorded the moment the military came to kill, steal, and destroy peaceful protesters right there in Lagos, Lekki, Toll Gate. This year's switch reacted as the officer representing the military at the Lagos Judicial Panel got promoted from brigadier to major general, probably because he has been put there to face the heat. So he's been encouraged by giving him this promotion, of course, salary increase, for going there to lie. According to the cable, they tweeted, Ibrahim Taiwo, officer representing Hami at Lagos Judicial Panel, promoted to Major General. Hmm. Well, DJ Switch, on his... On our own tweet, replied, saying, Is there still hope for Nigeria? How will Jimo and all those who have been attacked, robbed, maimed, and killed feel at the moment, knowing that their assailants are being promoted and being moved or are moving around freely? How will the dead and injured NSAS protesters feel at this time? Some other people said if a man is diligent and loyal in his work or at his work, he will be favored before kings and not mere men. Nigeria has a way of compensating diligent and patriotic defenders of lies. Another person said we continue to demand justice for peaceful and sad victims of lucky genocide who were massacred on 2010-2020 by Buhari, Jide Songwolu, made their patriotic memories of a just blessed of with their patriotic memories of a just blessed. All right, I think that one was a little bit. So someone said their promotions are hardly on the basis of war, peacekeeping, intelligence. It's rather based on how an officer can lie support evil, kill innocent and harmless, and even harm civilians. Congratulations to him. He may be probably due, nevertheless, said somebody. And I would say the general did not join the army. Maybe coincidence coming at this time. The promotion is well-deserved. Let's just hope it doesn't derail the hearing. Something like the officer has been transferred 80. All right? What... They are saying is that probably somebody is going to represent him now. It doesn't matter if anybody represents him. Another one said, this is why we will not progress in Nigeria. Someone that led troops that went to kill massacred people is now being promoted. Someone said, let this be known that this Ibrahim Tawu did not become a major general by overcoming terrorists, but by killing peaceful protesters, armless protesters only harmed with their placards saying no to brutality, no to terrorism, no to criminality, no, 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 no. And I was, I'm guessing because he did a good job lying for them during the hearing. Another one said, well-deserved promotion. Him and several others were promoted. A sound general that won Nigeria so many accolades around the world. We are so happy for our boss. 
He actually won it by killing people. Nigeria is the place in the world where villains, sociopaths, and demented zealots are awarded handsomely to the embarrassment of honest and patriotic citizens. Imagine the reward given to the bloody soldier called Ibrahim Taiwo after all the silliness he deployed openly. The promotion really pained you. Sorry, you thinking getting to the rank of Brigadier General is more more talk more of Major General. This is coming from someone from the north. This is the kind of life that we live in. No empathy. No fear of God. Promotion in the military isn't an arbitrary exercise. If the man has satisfied all conditions for promotion and there is a batch that is due for announcement, so the promotion should be held back because he's represented the army at the panel, senseless people. These are the comments coming from several people. Hmm. This is deep. Well, the question we should begin to ask is this. Is this military man, was it part of the people that went after the NSAS? Maybe not. But he has been brought up to represent, to speak for what he has vowed, pledged to stand for, to stand with. And that is what he's doing. Maybe when they are about to die, then they begin to write memo and they begin to reveal. That is if they are not going to go to their grave because I was opportune to listen to Ibrahim Babangida where he said there are certain things that will go with him to the grave because among their clique, they have made a covenant amongst themselves not to reveal certain things about Nigeria or their role in it. Whatever it is, they are not ready to reveal anything. So this dude, he might know the truth, maybe, maybe not, but I think he will sure know the truth or find out about the truth of this because you cannot come to represent the army without knowing the details of what happened and what you have to lie about. Maybe he will write a memo revealing all what happened, who called who, who asked who, what was ordered. Although he revealed, he said, we are angry with the governor Son Wolu because he's now pretending as if he's not part of this. He actually called us to come to compliment the soldiers, the, the, the police. He said the police are being overwhelmed and we came. But the question we should ask is this. If the soldiers came, let's assume for peacekeeping. Even though there is nothing as such there, there wasn't any form of violence aside the political thugs that were paid to cause anarchy, to cause havoc. Why would the soldiers come in Gestapo style? point guns at the peaceful protesters and start shooting at them. This is terrible. So DJ Switch has pointed this out and I decided to bring this up to you guys too. Is this how, what kind of country are we in where a man that should not at this time be, you know, this kind of, we are talking of a country that should be remorseful at this time for what they've done. Yet, they are promoting somebody who is sitting on a panel to explain to the world why they killed innocent citizens.